November 6, 2007 from New York. Hi, I'm Shelley Palmer. First up, Time Warner has named Jeff Bukas as CEO. He will take the president's CEO title from Dick Parsons, who moves up to chairman of the board on January 1st. Time Warner stock closed down seven cents on the news to $17.81, reflecting what the street already knows. This is going to be a tough gig. Google unveiled mobile operating system Android and an alliance of 33 mobile-oriented companies. The new open handset alliance joins major device manufacturers, carriers, and other tech companies, including Sprint, T-Mobile, Intel, LG, Motorola, Samsung, and more. And in case you're wondering, yep, it's an advertising play. Barry Diller announced that internet conglomerate IAC will split into five publicly traded businesses. HSN, LendingTree.com, Ticketmaster, and Interval will become their own entities. Diller will remain as head of IAC, which will retain Ask.com, Match.com, and CitySearch. Diller said the move is necessary because IAC's current strategy lacks clarity and it's too complex for investors to understand. Newspaper circulation is trending down faster than expected. Newsday and the New York Post saw the largest declines at over 5% each. The New York Times lost 4.5% and the Wall Street Journal even lost a percent and a half. The industry is trying to retain advertisers by focusing its metrics on the number of online and offline readers while underplaying the shrinking circulation figures. Oxygen Network has expanded its on-demand platform to reach 25 million homes. The network has signed deals with 13 carriers. Jerry Laybourne and company has made a strong commitment to new media, pledging to be available on every platform that their audience uses. Until next time, for Media Bytes, I'm Shelley Palmer. For news you can use about technology, media, and entertainment, visit Media 3.0 with Shelley Palmer at Media3.0.com. That's M-E-D-I-A 3.0.com.